Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Big Tree Outdoors. Um, I'm out here again in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Um, that kind of a site I wouldn't typically really want to stop at, but it's right next to some water. It's 4th of July weekend, so there wasn't a whole lot of room to be picky. And really the purpose of this trip is to just get out here for a hike tomorrow. So kind of a similar situation as last weekend. Um, just wanted to get out here and pretty much be here for a hike that I have planned tomorrow. Um, I did a little bit of exploring, uh, but I tried not to get too crazy. Um, in typical me fashion, I stopped at this site a few hours ago and decided to keep exploring and when I drove by uh, a little while ago there was someone here so I went down a side road found another site and the people here it didn't look like they were going to stay I don't know what they were doing but they didn't have any tents or campers or anything so I came back and said uh, the other site was right down the road like literally two minutes if that uh, so I said, if they're still here, I'll just go right back to that site. But if they're gone, I'm going to take this one. So that's what I did. Um, not typically a fan of the parking lot style campsites. But like I said, right next to some water. Got uh, some trees over here to set my tent up in. Um, so I'm not just woken up with the sun. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's fire ban season, but I saw a lot of people driving in here that had some pretty raging fires. So I kind of figured I'm um, right next to some water. I'm gonna keep it small. I'm gonna go to bed early and I'm just gonna douse it. I got a gallon jug. I'm just gonna douse it before I go to bed, so. Hopefully no one's too offended by that, but that's just kind of how it is. So, yeah, stick around. This uh, video is probably going to be relatively quick. Um, there's not really a whole lot to do. I just got here. It's 7.30, so I'm going to set up camp, get a fire going, make dinner, uh, which is pretty much just hot dogs again because um, I wanted something easy for when I got here. So, yeah, stick around for that. Should be a quick video. Uh, tomorrow will be a hike, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. I almost didn't go, didn't come here. I was going to head back to Alpine Lakes Wilderness, but then I Googled some pictures of where I'm going. I was like, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> so, um, I decided to come back here. Four day weekend. Next weekend is my last three day weekend before going back to work for regular work weeks until August when I head back to the East Coast uh, to visit family. So, yeah, stick around, see what happens, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, uh, getting ready to make up some dinner. Just got some Hebrew National uh, Bunley Pug Dogs, the good stuff. Um, been kind of a one-note pony lately with the camping meals. I've been pretty much doing ramen and hot dogs. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's what the Pioneers ate, so just kind of really adds that authentic flair to a camp out. Um, but in all seriousness, as far as the ramen is concerned, Walmart has actually really stepped up their ramen game. They have a lot of good ramen these days. It's not just like the Top and the uh, Marochan. They have a lot of other brands. And some of them are actually really good. So kind of getting back into ramen a little bit. Um, the hot dogs are just 
cheap and easy. So, you get my fire going a little bit again. It's not ever really going to be much bigger than this. Um, I want to be able to put it out easily when I go to bed. So yeah, just keep a small fire, just something I can cook on. My Hebrew Nationals going here. I actually don't know the last time I had one of these. I don't remember what brand I had last weekend. But, the ones last weekend I didn't think were that great. Probably not a good idea wiping hot dog juice on my pants. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm in bear territory, but whatever. Is it? 20 after 9, so yeah, it's going to be relatively early night. I'm actually kind of looking forward to getting in my sleeping bag and just reading for a little while. Um, I started reading, I don't read a whole lot at home, I pretty much, for the last like, 10 years or more, I pretty much only read when I'm backpacking. Um, I thought I was on book two of Game of Thrones, and I was reading it last night, and come to the end of the book, I'm like, oh cool, book three, can't wait to start that, and Flipping through the appendix and everything, and it turns out I was on book five. So, there's a part of me that wants to start the series over because I don't remember anything pretty much from like the middle of book two till now, or what I've read over the past few weeks. Um, I read it all on the Appalachian Trail, apparently. But I must have just been so tired that it didn't really register what was actually going on. So I kind of want to start it over, but not, I'm going to finish book five and then maybe start it over. But I watched Dune 
a couple weeks ago. Holy crap, that movie was awesome. And Dune 2 is coming out soon, so... I haven't gone to see a movie in the theaters since the last Riddick movie came out. And that movie is why I haven't gone to see other movies in the theaters. I waited for that movie for months. Months and months. And I went to see it with a friend. And I was like, this was a goddamn waste of seven dollars. <laughs> um, but I haven't gone to see a movie since. I want to give that movie another chance though because I've seen people talk about it on Reddit and people seem to like it. So I gotta give it another chance. But I remember waiting months and months for that movie and going to see it and being like, wow, this sucks. But Dune 2 looks friggin' awesome. Dune 1 was awesome. So... Yeah, looking forward to that. Probably going to read the books. Probably going to start Game of Thrones over, but... It's kind of weird, like... Reading a book after you watch the show, because... I watch the show first, but as I'm reading through the books, I already have these ideas of what everyone looks like. And, like, if I... I recognize a scene from the book, from the show, that's pretty much what plays out in my head when I'm reading it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So, I've never really been that into reading. But, yeah, I've really been enjoying reading Game of Thrones over the past few weeks, and I'm, so I'm probably going to read Dune next, after I finish book five, but... So, that's my story about reading. I guess that's pretty much all I got. Pretty much all I got. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish cooking up this dog here. Uh, probably gonna make another one. Then, probably gonna go to bed. Morning, everybody. Um, just gonna see what time it was, but I have no idea. All right. It's almost nine o'clock. Um, slept in till almost eight, so I've been up for about an hour. Um, we got a coffee going, got some oatmeal going, and try and decide what I want to do. So I had this hike plan, and be going up from here about three. I think three to four thousand feet. Yeah, and it got pretty cold last night, so I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, I planned for it being in the 50s. The weatherman said it would be in the 50s. There's no way it was only the 50s last night. I think it got down into the 40s pretty easily. Um, So I'm not sure I want to go up an elevation 4,000 feet with the same gear that I had here. So I might still do it, but I'm not making any promises. I might save that hike for next weekend and 
go uh, check out somewhere else, see what else is around, and just save that for next weekend and plan on it being a lot colder than what the weatherman says. Holy shit! Well, here goes my taste buds for the next couple days. That's alright, I guess, if we make oatmeal. <laughs> um, So yeah, that was kind of, I was surprised how cold it got, so I did check the weather for this area, but you're in the mountains, you know, you can't really plan for that, I guess. I mean, I should know better than to trust the weather, man. We'll see. I was really looking forward to that hike, but it's not like I'm just never going to do it. It just might not be this weekend. I might wait till next weekend. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do a hike. But I'm going to have to check out Gaia and see what else is around. I mean, there's a lot around. It's just a matter of finding one that looks good. I did kind of want to do that hike this weekend just because it's not a long hike, but it's a little bit longer than what I did last weekend. So, we just kind of plan for getting home late tomorrow. And I can just, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about rushing to get ready for the week because I still have that Tuesday off. We'll see, nothing set in stone. I might just go freeze my ass off, who knows. I don't have a lot of time to decide though, because um, if I do go up there, I need to start hiking. I mean, not super early, obviously, it's already nine o'clock, but I'd say probably noon at the latest. Um, That way, I just have plenty of time to take breaks, see the sights, you know, relax once I'm up there. I think that's pretty much all I got for now. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Probably make another coffee after that. 
and start cleaning up camp and getting ready to head. So, talk to you guys in a little bit.